Hey guys, I'm Cupid, and I have schizophrenia. Um, today I wanted to talk about music and, and schizophrenia. Um, I know that a lot of people out there um, do use music as a way of dealing with their symptoms of schizophrenia. And I kind of wanted to divulge into different um, information that I was able to come across that is helpful in um, providing more information on why music is helpful. Um, I uh, I also wanted to. Um, I know that some people. This for me happened. Um, that some people have that issue of like people the auditory hallucinations, um, speaking through the music. Um, that happens to me a lot. Sometimes it's hard to listen to music after that. Um, I haven't really been listening to music in a while, um, not because they were happening, but just because of the memories that of the things that happened with music. It's kind of been hard to listen to music without those memories popping up. Approximately 60 to 80 percent of patients with schizophrenia spectrum disorders experience auditory hallucinations which have been linked to high levels of anxiety. 75% and severe depression, 60% 60, 60 in this population. In addition, auditory hallucinations are associated with increased risk of harming oneself or others, and they have a negative effect on all aspects of daily life, including work, self-care, and relationships. Quality of life is also significantly impaired in these patients. Auditory hallucinations persist in up to 50% of patients. Despite their receiving pharmacological therapies, underscoring the need for additional interventions to address these symptoms. Several psychosocial techniques have demonstrated effectiveness in this regard, including music therapy, which has been associated with significant reductions in symptoms such as hallucinations in various studies. Now, outside of music therapy, I know that people use music as a way of um, getting away from it all, or even a way of just um, expressing themselves, um, or being able to relate to someone. Uh, music therapy can be done with a therapist, or it can also be done on your own. Um, a long, longitudinal, I cannot say this word. A study published in January 2018 in Frontiers Neuroscience examined the effects of a classical music intervention on patients with schizophrenia, who were assigned to a one-month Mozart music intervention group or a no-music no group. Both groups were receiving treatment with antipsychotic anti drugs. A controlled group consisted of 19 healthy individuals. On the basis of functional magnetic resonance, imaging, and machine learning techniques, the results demonstrated that the music intervention was linked to increased functional connectivity in the dorsal anterior insula and posterior insula networks after one month, although the effects were not sustained at, a six month, at the six-month follow-up. Together, these findings revealed that the insular cortex could potentially be an important region in the music intervention for patients with schizophrenia, thus improving the patient's psychiatric symptoms through normalizing the salience and sens sensor motor networks, the authors wrote. In general, music may improve communication, social functioning, cognitive behavior, and emotion and mental disorders. In our study, we use non-invasive functional magnetic resonance imaging to investigate the effects of a classical music intervention in patients with schizophrenia and found that it normalized the functional connectivity of the insula. Dysfunction of the insula, which provides the basis for monitoring external environments and processing sensory information, may contribute to clinical symptoms in schizophrenia. Thus, the underlying mechanisms of the music intervention may be related to its normalizing effects of insular function in schizophrenia. So, the methods they used, we compared the treatment effect in schizophrenic patients with standard treatment who did and did not receive 
the adjunct music therapy through a meta-analysis and investigated the clinical characteristics of music therapy through meta-regression. The results, the main finding was that treatment effect was significantly better in the patients who received adjunct music therapy than in those who did not. In negative symptoms, mood symptoms, and also positive symptoms. Um, by the way, they did mention in another place, which I did not grab that information, but that most studies were analyzing the negative symptoms, and they were only able to prove that music therapy helps the negative symptoms, whereas in this study, they were able to prove that it helps the positive symptoms as well. And I guess the positive symptoms are the ones that can make us violent, which then leads to um, the misconception or the ideas that um, schizophrenic people are violent. Um, not that all of us are, but that is the symptoms that would lead us to being that way. Um, all right, so this significance did not change after dividing the patients into subgroups of different total duration of music therapy, amounts of sessions, or frequency of music therapy. Besides, the treatment effect on the general symptoms was significantly positively associated with the whole duration of the illness, indicating that music therapy would be beneficial for schizophrenic patients with a chronic course. So the conclusions were that our, the meta-analysis highlights a significant better treatment effect in schizophrenic patients who receive music therapy than the, in those who do not. Especially in those with a chronic course regardless of duration, frequency, or amounts of sessions of music therapy. These findings provide evidence that clinicians should apply music therapy for schizophrenic patients to alleviate disease severity. Alright, so music therapy has been used in treatment of schizophrenic schizophrenia for decades and is often used as an adjunct therapy to medication. It can take the format of individual therapy, large group therapy, or a combination of individual and group therapy through either passive listening or active participation. Every form of music therapy has an effect in schizophrenic patients and to a certain extent. However, most studies investigating the treatment effect of music therapy have focused on the effect on negative and mood symptoms only. All right, so I'm glad we were able to talk a little bit about that. Um, I am not going to be doing a super long video about music today. Um, I did kind of want to hear some stories from you guys about what would be what would be the role of music in your life. Um, what kinds of music do you listen to? Um, what does music help you with? Does it help you with your symptoms? Um, does it make them worse? Does, you know, does it do anything to provide any sense of relief? Um, leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, and the unique fact um, that I wanted to give to you guys today um, not that this is um, probably unique to everyone. I, I, I don't know if everyone, if people already know this fact or not. So I'm going to give it to you though, either, either way. While there is no cure for schizophrenia, it is highly treatable disease. In fact, the treatment su success rate for schizophrenia is 60% 60, 60%, sorry, is 60 compared with the 41 to 52% for heart patients. So for heart patients, it's only 41 to 52% treatable. Um, as with schizophrenia, it is 60%. That's a pretty amazing um, heightened amount. Um, so anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed my video for today. Um, have a safe day, a beautiful day, awesome day. Um, stay beautiful, stay wonderful, stay amazing, stay awesome, stay unique, and above all else, you guys, love yourselves. Peace and love.